Stephen A., whose performance is this game going to be more about? Will it be about Brady or about Rodgers? I think it's going to be about Brady. And the reason why, I think the evidence is there. They're three and two on the season. The two worst games that Brady had are the two games they lost. The first game of the season and the one that they just lost last week. The reality of the situation is that outside of those two games where Tom Brady completed like 63 and 60 percent of his passes respectively, he completed about 65 percent of his passes or better than the three consecutive victories that they had. When this dude is clicking and he's and he looks like he's clicking and playing at an elite level, somehow, some way, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers find a way to win, whether that's against Carolina, Denver, or the Los Angeles Chargers. We've got to take that into consideration. We also have to take, we also have a license if we want to take for granted the greatness of Aaron Rodgers. What we're seeing from him is what we're seeing from him we anticipate that we will see that from him so you sort of anticipate what he's going to do you know what he's going to do the question is what kind of answers the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to have in response to that Chris Godwin has missed three of the five games this season he's their playmaker at the wide receiver position Mike Evans is a stud I got it but basically, he's open when he's not open. He's not a breakaway kind of player, per se. He makes tough things happen in a beneficial fashion. You can sit up there draped all over him. He'll find a way to get a catch. 50 you know, exactly. receiver, The O.J. Yeah. Hammond, the O.J. Howards, the Cameron Brates, and those boys, same, different, same thing, even though it's not to that degree. Chris Godwin is the breakaway dude. And, uh, Tom Brady has not been with that weapon. And I don't think, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure if he'll be back or not this week. But in the end, what it comes down to is... He's qu uh, questionable. He's questionable. Still, yeah. The success of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is going to be predicated on Tom Brady. We know what Aaron Rodgers is going to do. The question is, will Tom Brady be up to the task of matching? And don't well, forget Devontae Adams will be back sure, for the Packers. Sure, right. Um, well, the storyline... You're absolutely right. You've identified the storyline heading into the game. But in terms of whose performance will actually determine the outcome of the game, Tom Brady, as usual, since he went down that ravine, Stephen A. The ravine. It Not looked the cliff, like the a ravine. cliff from far yeah. away. Yeah. But when I got but closer, ravine. it turns out it was just a ravine. <laughs> you see those Beetlejuice eyes? I can't believe that he needs glasses. You talk about a cliff to a ravine. You, if anybody would know Slight the difference, difference between a cliff and a ravine, even from far away, Stephen it A. It would be you. It was, it was a mirage. But <laughs> oh, it was a binoculars it, right that, there. <laughs> Go ahead. Tom Brady, as usual, in the last couple of years, it's not that he can't make throws when you need him to. He's surrounded by offensive weapons, even right. with the injuries. He has a couple of good right. tight ends. He's going to have one of his stud receivers. Mm -hmm. He's riding a defense. He has a real good coach and a defense, and that's what the Bucs are about. The Bucs, if you had to say, what's the signature of the Bucs so far this year? That defense is pretty good. Aaron Rodgers is playing on a team, and Aaron Jones has been excellent. Yeah. But he's been playing on a team – whose defense is closer to Seattle's than an elite defense. Mm -hmm. They're not only, like, a bend but not break. Nah, they bend and break. They give up points. Mm -hmm. That is not a stud kind of defense. It is incumbent upon Aaron Rodgers. Yes, he's getting Devontae Adams back. Who knows if Devontae Adams will be 100%, but he hasn't had him recently when he's finding receivers all over the field that no one has ever heard of. It's like if you replaced Aaron Rodgers – with a, just any old quarterback, this Green Bay Packers team wouldn't be anything. We wouldn't be talking about the Packers now. This is about Aaron Rodgers. This is the Aaron Rodgers show. And LaFleur, look, when guys, the reason those no-name receivers are making catches, it's not just that Rodgers has always been more accurate than Brady. He's always had a better arm, right? It's that he's scheming these guys open. A lot of open receivers, so I, I give credit where credit's due, LaFleur. It's always the quarterback and the coach. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the players on the field, Aaron Rodgers' play will determine the outcome of the game. He doesn't have anything else to rely on, his running back. But it's really Rodgers who's going to do it. If you replace him with someone else, the Packers are a, maybe a 500 team, maybe not even. Aaron Rodgers, we're talking about the Super Bowl. Well, we've seen what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are without Aaron, without Tom Brady. I mean, we know that. I mean, James, James Winston giving us new meaning for 30 for 30. I mean, 30 <laughs> interceptions and 30 touchdowns and all uh -oh, of this other guy. stuff. He just new meaning. But, but, but he'll be back. So he'll be back someday in the near future, and I think that he'll learn the error of his ways. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. What you're saying about Aaron Rodgers is a good point, but I'd piggyback off of your earlier point prior to that, Max, where you talked about this defense. It bends a lot. If you look at the Green Bay Packers and what they do, 
you know what? You can exploit their defense to some degree. It's not a horrible defense by any stretch of the imagination, but in the same breath, you can exploit them. And in the end, by the way, Devontae Adams is not a no-name. He's not a scrub. He can ball. He can ball. Valdez Scanlon, he can ball. He's not a scrub. They've got some, they've got resumes that shows what they can bring to the table. So I got to pay attention to that. In the case of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we understand who Tom Brady is. And the bottom line is, is that when you look at Bruce Arians and the way he likes to air it out, he leads on his quarterback heavily. He's willing, if he was willing to take chances with Jameis Winston, you know he's willing to take those chances with Tom Brady, which we have seen already. So as a result of that, that puts more of an onus on Tom Brady, somewhat dictating the outcome. Again, we're not disagreeing with your points about Aaron Rodgers. What we're doing is taking it for granted and saying, right. we okay. don't see that. How are you going to and respond? And this is Tom Brady as motivated as he could be. Sure. After the debacle last yeah. week and Nick Foles beating him again by making the plays when he had to to put his team in field goal range and then Tom Brady not able to make the plays and making a mental error thinking mm -hmm. it's he had another down after chewing out his offensive line. And not admitting it. And not and admitting, not admitting it. it after not, not making owning it. That was bad. That was and, bad. And, and, and chewing out his offensive line. This will be a highly motivated Tom Brady who looks like he will have Mike Evans. He will have two of his tight ends. So I get that. But that's what you're saying. We can take for granted Aaron Rodgers is going to be Superman. But if Tom Brady is Superman, they'll win. Oh, I, I think... I don't know. I don't I, know about I, that. I think if Tom Brady plays they like Superman, lose. the Bucks you, will win. I, I'm just curious. Do you think because of the bye week that any of the momentum has been maybe paused a bit on the side of the Packers? No, no. I think the Packers will be ready. I'm anticipating that they'll win this game. All I'm saying is that for Tampa Bay to have any kind of chance, any kind of chance, Tom Brady got to show up because Aaron Rodgers is going to show up because even when he doesn't show up, he still looks like a guy that showed up. All right, guys. Highest QBR through four games in the history of QBR. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.